Hey, good evening, guys. Ross, WRNC 518 slash WD4 ESU. Uh, just finished uh, somewhat putting together a high power simplex node uh, made out of a uh, Motorola MCS 2000. And uh, what else? A Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and a Masters Communications RL20 sound card. Uh, so this is basically what we have. Let me uh, disconnect the programming cable. Uh, let me turn around a little bit so we can see. I uh, hope all these cables are going to get tangled up. All right. So basically this is what we have. Uh, coming out of the MCS2000, as you can see, uh, I already uh, posted some of the pictures and what have you, so you'll know more or less what the cabling is for or where it's coming from. Anyway, this uh, gray cable is shielded, uh, a conductor. It's, uh, it's coming from the bottom of the radio with a flat Motorola style connector. And it goes into a, the, a DB9 uh, male connector. And then it uh, mates with a, a DB9 female connector on the RL20. Let me take the uh, cover off so you guys can see what I've done it before. Anyway, this is the uh, RL20. Uh, what I did is here, you see the corners have some uh, melted glue from a glue gun. Uh, I wanted to make sure that the board, if you, if you put pressure on this or you put pressure on the connector, that the board was not going to be popping up and down. So that's why I did that. But anyway, this is basically uh, what we have. I did the, uh, what do you call it? I powered the uh, the RL20 with a, what we call a dongle DC to DC converter that uh, what it does, it takes the 13.8 voltage from the radio, from the accessory plug and converts it to a uh, five five volt three amp, well maybe even more, but anyway, three amp is more than enough for Raspberry Pi, uh, which is underneath. So as you can see, uh, there is no power. This is where you normally power. This is your HDMI, but as you can see, there is no power powering this because it comes internally. Uh, you don't see it, but it's all it's all internal. If I was to pull this up, you will see the cable coming down, going into the Pi. And then in, underneath this board, you will see a, a red cable. Uh, the power from the radio comes this way. But anyway, I just wanted to give you an idea. I can make this a lot better. I can get more elaborate. For for the moment, I mounted this thing on a uh, with a Motorola bracket for this particular radio. See, this bracket um, slides in and out, which is nice. Because you can guide the radio into the bracket. And makes it a lot easier to bolt it down. So anyway, I bought a uh, one dollar from the dollar store, a shelf extender. I think is what these things are called. Uh, this is what you normally put inside a uh, kitchen cabinet, and then you can put something on top and save space. Anyway, uh, I I did cut the legs down. The legs were like about double this size, but the wobbling was incredible. So I can still cut this one to size even more. For the simple fact that I put a fan underneath here, that's the one that cools the uh, the heat sink on the radio. <clears throat> I already tested this thing at 15 watts. It just gets warm. I tested it for uh, half an hour, and it's uh, warm. The fan is more than enough to cool it. That's the only thing you got to be careful with when you create these nodes. There, this radio puts out uh, around 55, 60 watts, but you never, never want to run the radio to their max. Um, so I set it at 50 and uh, did some testing and uh, started uh, knocking down power until I found the happy medium where 15 watts, and I'll show you on the meter, uh, it's enough to run it. Almost continues, I would say. And the fan is small enough to cool the heat sink so the radio won't get hot. Because uh, remember, when the radio gets hot, it's not good for the uh, power transistors. And it's not good for the, uh, for the, 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 the equipment itself. You know, it doesn't like running hot. And there's a lot of um, 
uh, temperature sending uh, devices on these Motorola radios. So what, what happens is if you let it get hot, uh, the power is going to drop to protect itself. So anyway, this is basically what I said before. We have a uh, the uh, RF cable. Uh, right now I have it on test. That's just a low jumper. And uh, here we have the uh, RJ45 Ethernet connector that provides internet. But uh, before it's done, what I suggest is putting a um, setting up the unit for Wi-Fi. That way you never have to put a cable in there. And it'll be one less cable sticking out and something to uh, stumble upon. But anyway, uh, this is basically it. So now I'm going to power the uh, power the power supply. Okay, I got 13.8 volts here. I got the radio here. This thing is going to be powering in a minute. It's going to go through this whole booting procedure. Give the ID, the IP, and where it's connecting. Not where, but at least the. Uh, the uh, network you're connecting to. W-R-T-G-2-3-8 IP address. Obviously the blue light is TX. Zero dot zero dot zero dot one two four. So you can see a set of 15 and 15 is the second from the bottom. Now it's going to connect to the Actane network. Node 7, 3, 2, See? connected to See, it's node exactly one, zero, 15 watts zero, one. because it's the second one from the bottom. And this uh, thing is set of 15. So it goes all the way to the right. The radio itself, it's at uh, putting out 15 watts. <clears throat> all right, let's do a little test here, see if anybody answers. Anybody out there for a quick radio check? WRNC 518. Let's see. By the way, I suggest uh, cutting down these legs with just enough, an inch or so, before the, the fan hits the whatever, the table or whatever you're going to set it down into. Because that way, this one doesn't wobble as much. But if you cut the legs down, it'll wobble even less. All right, let me do another call. Nobody answers, and then we'll shut it down. Anyone around for a quick radio check, please? WRNC 518. Come on, baby. This is like the police. They're never around when you need them. Anyway, I gave you a chance, Octane. I guess we're running out of Octane. All right. So anyway, this is WRNC uh, negative contact and clear. Anyway, so this is basically it. Uh, I'm going to build a few of these and I'm going to be doing them with different options. The next option is going to be not purchasing the, uh, the bracket, which is like 20 bucks in good condition. This is, this is a brand new one. I'm going to lay the radio, see there's a gap underneath the radio, which in this case it doesn't matter because the fan is underneath. So that will be the only thing you have to uh, be concerned with. So the next thing I'm going to do is to utilize the strength of the frame, Take the not use the bracket, bring the radio all the way down to the surface of the bracket, and then use some sort of a attaching device like uh, the plumber's... Uh, that the plumbers use to hold pipes up that have holes in it. I don't know what the hell that's called. But anyway, uh, you bring one, the tip over here, bring it down, wrap it around underneath, and the radio will be even better than this because it's sitting, it's fully sitting on the, on the, um, on the frame here of this uh, shelf. So that's another one that I'm gonna, I'm gonna build different ones with different options so you guys can have ideas. All right, that does it for today. 73s have a great one and um, no, watch out for my other videos. I'm going to put this one on YouTube so it's easier to uh, to provide links for easy access. WRNC 518 uh, on the radio shop clear. 73s.